Hello, my name is Gabriel Bolaños. I'm a Nicaraguan American composer and an assistant professor of music composition at Arizona State University. Um, I'm honored that my piece, Nosotros Hemos Puesto Los Muertos, will be given its US premiere by Ninth Planet uh, in November in San Francisco. Uh, this piece was recently awarded the 2022 Suzanne and Lee Edelson Composers Award, and it was commissioned last year by the Genoa-based Utopia Ensemble. Uh, this is a piece that's very personal to me. Um, it grew out of a sense of helplessness and anger that I was feeling um, as I watched my home country, Nicaragua, become increasingly more authoritarian and violent under the rule of the dictator, Daniel Ortega, and his wife, the vice president. Um, the title, Nosotros Hemos Puesto Los Muertos, literally translates to, uh, we are the ones that have put the dead. But I think a more direct or meaningful translation would be, the dead belong to us, or the dead are ours. Um, and this is a phrase uh, that emerged between an interaction, uh, from an interaction between Daniel Ortega, the dictator, and a student opposition leader, Lester Aleman, uh, following protests in 2018, uh, where Daniel Ortega's police and paramilitary forces murdered over 300 student protesters in the worst wave of political violence that Latin America has seen in over 40 years. Uh, this video shows that interaction between Lester Aleman and Daniel Ortega. Estamos aquí y hemos aceptado estar en esta mesa con todo el debido respeto de ustedes para exigirle ahorita mismo que ordene el cese inmediato de los ataques que están cometiendo en nuestro país. Ahora, usted sabe muy bien el dolor que hemos vivido en 28 días. Pueden dormirse todos tranquilos. Nosotros no hemos dormido tranquilos. Estamos siendo perseguidos. Somos los estudiantes. ¿Y por qué estoy hablando y por qué me salto la palabra suya? Porque nosotros hemos puesto los muertos. Nosotros hemos puesto los desaparecidos. Los que están secuestrados. Nosotros los hemos puesto. Hoy nosotros le pedimos. Esta no es una mesa de, de, de diálogo. Es una mesa para negociar su salida. Y lo sabe muy bien. Porque el pueblo es lo que ha solicitado. Aquí está todo este sector. Clamándole a usted. Como jefe supremo de la policía. Que ordene el cese al fuego inmediato. Inmediato. El pueblo de las calles, nosotros estamos en esta mesa exigiéndole el cese a la represión. Sepa esto, ríndase ante todo este pueblo. Pueden reírse, pueden hacer las caras que quieran, pero se lo pedimos que ordene el cese al pueblo ahorita mismo. Liberación de nuestros presos políticos. No podemos dialogar con un asesino porque lo que se ha cometido en este país es un genocidio. There are a few things in this piece that emerge from this sort of personal reflection uh, on this political situation. Uh, one is the piece's form. It begins very quiet, almost inaudibly, and then builds to uh, a very noisy and brutal climax that is never resolved. Um, and this form is meant to kind of mimic the sensation of building pressure and this sort of unbearable pressure um, that I myself, but mostly the Nicaraguans living under the Ortega regime have been feeling since 2018. Um, and there are two other motives uh, that reflect on this situation. One is a message whispered through the bass flute um, where the, the performer whispers no mas through the flute. And this is a message to the dictator Ortega himself begging no more. No more violence, no more oppression. Um, and then the second is a, um, a sort of distortion of the famous Nicaraguan revolutionary uh, melody, Nicaragua, Nicaraguita, uh, that's been distorted through various harmonic and melodic prisms. Um, and it's meant to represent my country's uh, sort of bruised spirit and um, the sort of anguish that uh, Nicaragua has felt under the thumb of the Ortega regime. Um, and finally, this piece is dedicated to all the victims that have suffered under Ortega and his wife, Rosario Murillo, um, and especially to Lester Aleman, who was recently sentenced to 13 years in prison for speaking out against the regime. Um, we're hoping that these things will soon be resolved and that all of the political prisoners will soon be released.